this room and just ask God to give you these things in his spirit. God, we pray for these things. God, we pray for these things only by your spirit. Just a cycle. of God. 
Some of you might be walking in and you're like, I'm not even so sure about all this yet, but friend, you're welcome here. You're a sister and you're a friend, and I'm so glad each and every one of you came from all those amazing states and even some different countries to be in this place. You know, yesterday I was reading in Acts and Peter and John were sitting there at a gate and there was this lame man and he was asking them for money and they said, silver and gold we do not have, but I'll give you what I do have. I'll give you Jesus and now there's get up and walk. And I'll tell you something, Monroe and Louisiana doesn't have a lot of silver and gold. We don't have a lot of shiny things. We don't have a lot of impressive things, if you will, but we do have Jesus Christ and I'm so thankful for that. And thank God that's all we need to move. Y'all, I'm gonna read y'all this passage in Acts. So after the church had just started, there's 3,000 people in the church, it's exciting times. Then 3,000 quickly became 5,000 and the church is growing. And it was a little bit intimidating to some of the Pharisees. Everyone was like, what is happening? Who are these Jesus followers? Why is this movement starting? And so one of the wise Pharisees stood up and he had a word for everybody of advice. And he said to them in Acts 5, verse 35, then he said to his colleagues, men of Israel, take care of what you are planning to do to these men. Some time ago, there was a fellow Thaddeus who pretended to be someone great. About 400 others joined him, but he was killed and his followers went into various ways. And the whole movement came to nothing. It goes on to say, after that, at the time of the census, there was a guy named Judas of Galilee. He had a few followers too, but he was killed and his followers were scattered. So he said, here's my advice. Leave these men alone, let them go. If they're planning and doing these things merely on their own, it will soon end and be overthrown. But ladies, get this, but if it is from God, somebody look at your sister and say, but if it's from God, but if it is from God, you will not be able to stop this thing. And let me tell you something, that makes me so excited. That was about 2,000 years ago when there was about 5,000 Jesus followers. He's like, I know this is kind of crazy, but look, these other people just died and the movement ended, but we serve a savior and a king who didn't just die, but he rose again from the grave and is alive today. And so the movement's still going, the movement's just beginning. So from 5,000 that day to over 2 billion people around the world who claim to know Jesus Christ, I would have to say it was God. It was the, the latter, but if it is God. And so friends, we get to come in this space and we get to be with God. We get to be with the creator of the universe. We get to step into a movement. And some of you, you might feel weak. You might come in heavy. But friend, I pray that tomorrow night you're jumping and dancing out of this place. We're so excited for what God is going to do. Let's go back in to this chorus one more time and just join in to this movement that's happening all around the world because we serve a Savior that's alive. Come on. Ooh. 